Hello friends, welcome to another edition of Remnant Informer Presents. It's time to take out the garbage. And before I give this sermon today, please bow your heads with me in prayer. Dear Lord, thank you for giving us another day. Lord, giving us life, giving us the breath in our lungs so we can breathe. And Lord, thank you for everything you do for us. And Lord, let nothing hinder this message today. Use me as a vessel, Lord. Use me to your will, Lord. And let everybody under the sound of my voice be blessed by this message, Lord. And Lord, I thank you. May you receive all the glory and honor due to you. And I ask this in your most blessed name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. It's time to take out the garbage. Everyone is assigned for garbage pickup. Some people have their trash pick up Tuesday, some Wednesday. No one ever wonders or worries about if their garbage is going to be picked up. When you clean your house of all the trash, you leave the garbage outside. You leave it there and don't worry about it. When it is picked up, you are relieved. The garbage man picks up your garbage because it's his job. Jesus takes our garbage if we are willing to leave it because it is his job. The difference is that Jesus will pick up our garbage every day if we let him. He tells us, Matthew 11 and 28, Come on to me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, burdened down with garbage, heavy laden with sin, heavy laden with problems. Come on to him. What happens when you clean up all the mess in your house and take the garbage outside the curb? You rest. You are relieved. Matthew 11, 28. Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. We all have different types of garbage in our house. It all stinks. We all stink of sin. But Jesus can wash away those sins. Have you ever been in someone's house and they don't take out their trash? It piles up and larva sits in and fly swarms around it. Just like we let sins pile up in our lives, it's easy to let it pile up. We have to die daily. We have to take out the garbage every day. Luke 9:23, And he said unto them, All if any man will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. We must put aside things. We want to desire things that are not of Christ. Even daily, when we are faced with temptation. After all, just like we put trash in a garbage can every day. Every day we have garbage to deal with, right? Every day when we are faced with bad thoughts, being impatient with others. Your children, family, co-workers, someone cutting, off, cutting us off or being too slow on the interstate. Give all these things to Jesus. Let him recycle you. 1 Corinthians 15 and 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Christ Jesus, our Lord, I die daily. If we have Jesus, we should die daily. Let's do the math. Jesus plus self equals minus self. Because thinking of self is negative. If it does us no good, nor anyone around you any good. Because... You're letting the garbage gather around you, and garbage stinks, sin stinks. We all stink of sin. Romans 3 and 23. For all have sinned and came short of the glory of God. We all have garbage to get rid of. Our pride, garbage, our jealousy, garbage, our intemperance, our impatience, garbage, our greed, our lust, our self-boasting, all garbage. If the clouds rolled back like a scroll and Jesus came right now, all he would see is garbage. Don't try to hold on to the garbage. Let Jesus take it away. Clean our temples. Clean out our closets, our inner chambers in our minds. Things that we have hidden deep, our wounds, our grudges, our self-pity, our doing our very best, it's all garbage. Because we cannot do anything without Christ Jesus. Philippians 4.13 I can do all things through Christ 
which strengthens me. With him, Jesus, we can do it. Isaiah 1 and 18. Come now, let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Come now, let Jesus take our garbage. Let Jesus recycle us and become new. 2 Corinthians 5 and 17. There, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We must be in Christ. We must be in Christ. Take up the cross and follow him. Let me add this. We must not even hold on to this world because it is all garbage. It will burn. If we are holding on to things of this world, we will burn with it. Don't even look back. Luke 17.32 Remember Lot's wife. Whoever shall seek to save his life shall lose it, and whoever shall lose his life shall preserve it. Don't save the garbage. It's time to take it out. The profane programs, the profane music, the gossip, the computer, the profane books, it's all garbage. Anything that is not of Christ, it is all garbage. The gossip, he said, she said, just like the rest of the garbage, take it outside and put a lid on it. Amen. If you are tired of the garbage piling up in your life, let us pray to the one who can take it all away. Jesus, we come in the name, stinking of garbage, stinking of sin. We ask that you, Jesus, take it away. Take our garbage, for you are merciful to our unrighteousness, and our sins are our iniquities, and we'll remember no more. Jesus, thank you for being so merciful. Thank you for taking our most deserving place on that cross. It should have been us. We should have paid the price for our sins. But God the Father so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son, so none should perish. We must believe in you, Jesus. We must believe that you can take our garbage and renew us, renew our hearts so we can be more like you. Oh Lord, mold us to be more like you. And this we do pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for watching. And as always, I stand by the word. God bless.